John the Almsgiver earned the title Almsgiver because of his passion for social justice and his stewardship of the poor and oppressed. He spent his entire life helping the poor, even those that came to him that were not in need. He helped them anyway, saying that it might be our Lord in disguise. He also was known for increasing the number of churches in Alexandria from seven to seventy. John was born in Amethyst, Cyprus, around 560, the son of the governor of Cyprus. He was wealthy and of noble lineage. A devout Christian, John sought to live a life of simplicity and in the spirit of poverty despite his wealth. At the wish of his parents, he entered into marriage and had children. But soon, his wife and children all departed this life early. John hadn't reached the age of 50 yet. He was zealous in fasting and prayer and had a great love for those around him. John quickly became well known for his great compassion, with the result that when the patriarch Theodore died, the Alexandrians asked that the emperor appoint John as his successor. The emperor agreed and appointed John as the patriarch, despite being a layman. He was consecrated Patriarch of Alexandria in 610. He governed the Church of Alexandria soundly for a decade as a true shepherd protecting it from dangers on the part of pagans and heretics. He pledged himself to practice charity without limits and placed several thousand needy persons under his personal pastoral care. One of his first acts was to make a list of over 2,000 persons in need, and he took these people under his special care. The saint ordered that all these unfortunates be provided for each day out of the church's treasury. He always referred to the poor as his lords and masters because of what he called their mighty influence at the court of the Most High. He was not only liberal with the church's resources, but with his own personal belongings. In one incident in his life, he felt remorseful for accepting a richly embroidered blanket as a gift, and he was unable to sleep until he sold it and gave the proceeds to the poor. He divided the church treasury's gold among hospitals and monasteries and worked to establish an economic redistribution system whereby poor people received adequate money and means to support themselves. Refugees from neighboring territories were welcomed with open arms. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again, and God bless. John was a reformer who established new hospitals and increased the number of churches in Alexandria from 7 to 70. He also made himself available to anyone who had a petition, grievance, or request. Twice weekly, he made himself available to anyone, rich or destitute, who wished to speak with him. People lined up 
and waited patiently for their turn. When asked about his passionate concern for the poor, it is said that John often recounted a youthful dream. In it, a beautiful young woman told him that she was Charity. She told him, I am the oldest daughter of the king. If you are devoted to me, I will lead you to Jesus. No one is as influential with him as I am. Remember, it was for me that he became a baby to redeem the world. John used this story to persuade the rich to be generous. He settled quarrels and helped the wronged. Three times a week, he visited the sick houses and rendered assistance to the suffering. It was during this period that the emperor Heraclius led a tremendous army against the Persian emperor Chosroes II. The Persians ravaged and burned Jerusalem, taking a multitude of captives. The holy patriarch John gave a large portion of the church treasury for their ransom. The saint never refused suppliants. One day, when the saint was visiting the sick, he met a beggar and commanded that he be given six silver coins. The beggar changed his clothes, ran on ahead of the patriarch, and again asked for alms. John gave him six more silver coins. When, however, the beggar sought charity a third time and the monks began to chase the fellow away, the patriarch ordered that he be given twelve pieces of silver, saying, Perhaps he is Christ, putting me to the test. When the Sassanids sacked Jerusalem in 614, John sent a large supply of food, wine, and money to fleeing Christians. But eventually, the Persians occupied Alexandria and John himself, in his old age, was forced to flee to his native country. During the voyage, he fell ill, and when they reached Cyprus, he departed this life in the year 620, in his place of birth. Now his body lies in the St. John the Merciful Chapel in the St. Martina's Cathedral in Bratislava, Slovakia. His feast day is January 23rd.